Hello and welcome to this video. Why am I looking like a crazy person already? You might wonder, well, I already put some concealer underneath my eyes. I did my brows and I have brown, browned? I have primed with my MAC Paint and Lee Paint Pot because we are going to play with some makeup. And I am just going to start off immediately before this intro gets five minutes long. So, yeah, I already placed some concealer underneath my eyes because I really want to get rid of the blueness on the blue tones underneath there because we are going to be playing with it. Can you guess already? Because I have noticed that I always match my makeup to the tones that I'm wearing. So, ta -da -da -da. obviously, we are going to go in with the green and the teal and the you know, green, bluish kind of makeup today. Let's get started. I'm growing my hair out, as you probably can tell. I am curious to see what my own hair color would look like. And I am back on track to the long hair, so that's this situation. Okay, for starters, oh, by the way, this is the Morphe James Charles palette. And I am just going to go right in with that dark, deep, rich, foresty green. Just going right in. Tap off the excess. Maybe I'm going to zoom you guys a little bit more so that you can see what I'm doing. So yeah, probably you can see the MAC Paint Lip Paint Pot. I used some brow powder and my uh, Maybelline Brow Drama setting gel and then concealer. Born this way from Too Faced in snow. So yeah, I am in the mood to play with a pretty heavy makeup today. I really wanted to play with color because it has been quite some time since I have played with a fun colorful makeup look because... Oh shit, I used the wrong brush. It's fine. It's fine. Just a clean blending brush. Uh, yeah, I have been wearing super natural summer makeup like light oh is she wearing something is she not you know that kind of makeup i have been wearing that a lot recently especially because it was so hot and quarantine we've all been at home mostly so yeah uh i really want to play with some color i was getting inspired because i have cleaned my makeup room. It has been quite some time since I did that because it's a lot of work, but it was getting a little bit too messy in here and I've cleaned it and I don't know, I just sat down and started playing with colors and realized how much I missed playing with fun colors. So yeah, here I am back on track with some green eyeshadow. All I'm going to do is build that dark green and blend for the first like half an hour. No, not a half an hour, but blending is key. Because I feel like on camera we often like fast forward a lot of the blending because who wants to watch that? But I'll be here blending away. Okie dokie, so now Oof, this is such a big palette to get in like <coughs> the screen. I want to go in with that light green. Tapping off the axis always. And just go in here. And above that dark green to, you know, create a gradient. Ah, oh, it feels so good to be playing again with makeup. I didn't realize how much I missed like doing something creative because the last month, month or two, I really haven't done a lot of eyeshadow looks at all. And if I did something, it was just like two, three shades max, you know, the natural brown, nudes, shimmery gold, that kind of makeup, but not really a vavavoom makeup. 
And yes, I am that crazy person that will go to work looking like this this afternoon. Now I am going to keep going back and forth with these steps. You know, a little bit more of a dark green, then a little bit more of a light green, in between with a clean blending brush just to help everything blend, of course. All the usual things that you do in a makeup look, but just with green this time and not with browns or greys or neutrals or pinks. Damn! I really, really, really want to place this teal color on my eyelids because I don't know why I always try to match my outfit to my makeup, which is probably pretty lame for some people, but that's me. So I really want to place this color on the lid. So maybe I'll go in with a little bit of this blue to create a transition from the green to the blue to the teal. Tapping off the excess and placing it right, probably pretty on, pretty much on the center of the eyelid. Just where the green meets with that pearly teal shade that we are going to place later on. Well, maybe I am going to just grab my pinky, that teal shade. Just pop it on so that we have an idea of how much blue I need to apply. Oh yes! Give it to me! Okay, wipe off the pinky before I ruin my dress. I just realized that I haven't done this. I normally seen I work on both eyes at the same time. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'll just finish this one off, like off camera then. Ooh, yes. I like what I see. I like it a lot. And now with that light green, as you can see, I am again applying a little bit more light green, a little bit more dark green, a little bit more blue and just keep going until it is beautiful. Yes, I want that light green to be a little more pigmented in there. This is what I wanted. Now, back in with the dark green. And again, a little bit of that teal. I think I also want to pop the teal on the inner tear duct area, I don't know how to pronounce that, and on the lower inner part, but I think, well, I am pretty sure that I need to find a clean brush for this first. Where, oh where, yeah. And then I want to pop a little bit of the white underneath, especially in this inner corner, to make sure that it is bright enough. So, I am first going to layer a little bit of white, so that the color has a light base to pop off. And now, back in with that pinky. I don't know, for lid shades that has shimmer, I really like the way that things apply with my fingers sometimes. Yes, we are getting somewhere. For the lower lash line, I think I want to go in with more of a blue lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with these shades right here. And on the outer part, I'm going to go in with that dark blue right away. And again, I'm doing my eyes first because uh, we're working with quite colorful dark shades so i don't want to have 
already done my base and then have a ton of fallout that I need to clean up and you can never clean it up perfectly in my opinion or maybe I'm just not good at cleaning it up there's always then some like glitter sparks or like dark shades that I don't get completely away that I do not enjoy so yeah that's that darker blue and now we are going to go in with that brush with the blue that we use on top see it is already happening well that's also because i now really have packed it on on my brush but i can do it because no foundation yet taking that teal shade can you actually see it yeah i think so on a brush I'm going to wet my brush a little bit because I'm not getting the pigment that I want to get on the lower lash line. Haha! -ha. That's already so much better! Now we are going to take that brush with that green on and go underneath that all just very slightly but it helps to tie it in with the top part of the eye going to take a little bit of that dark green also underneath and then back in with that lightest blue shade it's a lot of back and forth between all the shades but you can you know continue and make it as dark or as blue or as green as much as you like <laughs> back in with the dark green on top darken it up even a little bit more to make sure that the green is nice and intense I really like this so far I don't know how it is coming on camera because it looks a little bit more dark and muddy on camera than it does in real life which is pretty annoying like super annoying I'm scared <laughs> now I am really scared okay Ah, uh, why can I never find the brushes that I need? Oh, found it. Mm -hmm. Now I am getting scared. Why won't my camera focus on me? Okay. I am going to take a Z Black in the palette and create a wing with it. And I'm not good at wing blindness, so. I'm doing it with a powder because a powder is already a little bit more forgiving than going straight in with a black liquid liner so breathe in and breathe out and just take your time should it take your time okay you know what I am going to do the liner off camera and do the same on the other eyes and apply lashes and then I'll be back because I am going to be out of frame doing this liner anyway and I'm going to copy it on this eye so be right back okay so I'm cleaning up underneath um, my lashes are still drying because I have to go over them again with some black eyeshadow to make sure that it is all nice and black and tied in gonna let my lash glue dry first and do that then right now we are going to get started on the skin. Ta-da! Okie dokie. Oh, by the way, the lashes that I used were the Tati Lashes in TL9. If anybody is interested. I am going to start off again with my Born This Way Multi-Using Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced in Snow. Because I do not want to like cake on the skin i don't know why i used to always be like oh heavy eye heavy skin but right now i like to concentrate on hiding like 
the red spots on my face that need more coverage and work with a little bit of a lighter coverage in the areas that I, you know, don't really need it so that my skin doesn't look super super heavy in makeup that but that it still has a coverage that it needs to compensate the heavy eye look so yeah that's what i have been loving doing recently because i don't know i have the feeling that a lot of people are like going away a little bit of that full-on all the way like caked on makeup style so yeah but I do suffer from quite a lot of redness down here, which I do not really like. So that's why I am putting quite a lot of concealer down here. <laughs> I really want this red mark to be gone. For foundation, I am going to be using the Dior Face and Body in 1CR. This is like the original matte version. I know that they have a glowy version now, which I really want to try, but you know, shmoney. Oh, I don't know why I'm not really loving this foundation today. Hmm, it looks a little bit dry almost on my skin <sighs> now i'm going to have to try the glowy version <laughs> okay since this one is a little bit dry on my face for liquid bronzer i was going to use the chanel one but since this is a drier formula i am going to go in with the bronze goddess because this is a complete liquid one to you know have something that's not too dry so that it goes smooth on top of this foundation and that's that for now moving on to still haven't learned it yet still reaching out of frame for my products but going to go in with the nars liquid blush in luster and oh my god do you know what i have realized i'm so stupid <laughs> you know last video that i used this i was complaining about how annoying it was that i had to unscrew it and messy and this and that <gasps> i'm so stupid it comes with a pump i was just unscrewing it the whole time because when it arrived this was pretty stuck on so i didn't want it to rip it off because i thought it wasn't meant for that because it was so stuck on there but it comes with a pump i felt very dumb when i realized it <laughs> ah. I really love the glow that this blush gives to the skin. Like that foundation was looking pretty dry, but pop this blush on that liquid bronzer on and we saved it. <laughs> Is the cream situation good? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, powder. I'm not going to go in with more concealer underneath. I think it's enough and I don't want to overload it and create excessive creasing because of the amount of concealer and all that. So just going to go in with a little bit of crying, cry, crying, Cryolan uh, loose setting powder. Oh yeah, um, I did also pop a little bit of black liner in my waterline and my tight lines. So setting the face. A little bit of Bahama Mama. Oh, sheep. A lot of Bahama Mama, apparently. And then with the nails, just very slight. Under the lip. 
going to take a little bit of bronzer down the sides of my neck to create a full bronzed down look. Okay, highlight. No, blush first. I'm going to do blush first. I don't know since when, but I have been loving blush lately. So I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Peach Passion Pure Color Blush number 8. Not too much, but just a little bit. It has a light gold shimmer in it, so it does give your skin a little bit of a sheen. It isn't completely matte, so just know that. I don't mind it, I like it. Okay, Mary Lou Illuminizer. With a very light hand because I don't want to be like overly, overly, I don't know, highlighty. Okay, for skin, I think this is it. I'm going to go back to the eyes with a little bit of that black shadow again to go over the lash band. Just going to make sure that everything is nice and secure so it lasts all day. Because I don't know why, I'm always a person that's so scared that my lash is going to come off. It never happened to me, but... I'm always asking to my boyfriend, like, what, what? Is my lash still on? He's like, oh gosh, you and your lashes. I am tapping off the excess because... Uh, now we really do not want fallout because our skin is done, so <laughs> it will ruin it. Well, not ruin it, but it would be a pain in the ass to correct and make sure that it is gone and smooth again. And you know, you know what I mean. Now all that there is left to do is a lippies. And the only thing that I'm going to apply is a little bit of the... Chunky Cherry, no, not the Chunky Cherry, yes, the Chunky Cherry. Um, chubby Lipstick Balm by the Clinic because I do not want the lips to be overpowering. Also not feeling like a complete cover-up nude. So this is a little bit of a Your Lips But Better shade and that's what we're going for. Ta-da! The final look, I'm thinking that I'm forgetting something, but I really don't know what. Oh, setting spray. <sighs> oh, and lower lash line mascara, see? Oh my gosh. Trust the old uh, Lash Paradise. Still the waterproof version, not super happy with it, but it is good enough. Especially for the lower lash line. Haha! -ha. Now we're done. Okay, so this is it. Final look. Really hope you enjoyed it. It is something completely different and fun and colorful and, in my opinion, still wearable. You just wear whatever you want. And I'm matching my dress, so mission accomplished. Uh, yeah, I'm just rambling on now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I really hope I see you in my next video. So subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a reaction or a comment with whatever you want to see. Maybe another pink look or something like that or just a neutral look. Just let me know and I'll try to do it for you guys. Bye!